Dignity of Risk has been in the Aged Care Act since 1997. But we enter a time, a new paradigm, particularly in governance for aged care, where we need to consider dignity of risk and should consider dignity of risk as a human rights issue. When we eliminate risk from an individual, we eliminate the person. Our responsibility is to find the way in which an organisation can create a culture where there is an opportunity to take appropriate risk and balance that with the responsibilities of the provider to provide a safe level of care. So when I work with boards and executives, I hear about the challenges of implementing a concept like dignity of risk and the lack of expertise around them to know the sorts of questions that they need to be asking, the decisions that they should be making and the frameworks and policies that they should have in place to support their workers. How do we go about measuring this? How do I go about getting the expertise that is needed to make the decisions to ensure that I have an organisation that has a culture that allows individuals to take risk, that ensures that the appropriate mechanisms are in place to protect them when it's required, and that people can live the best lives that they want. Dignity of risk really goes to the question of autonomy and we accept that we have autonomy. The challenge with autonomy in residential aged care is half to two thirds of the residents have some form of cognitive impairment, which then requires discussion and deliberation around what activities a resident has chosen, whether they are fully aware of the consequences of the choices they're making, and then what are the rights and responsibilities both of the resident, the staff and the board. So the film was uh, designed to be a story rather than a lecture. It was designed to make people feel um, some empathy for the characters rather than to give a checklist of how to talk to people or how to manage risk. And I think the overwhelming part of the story is that it goes to the very essence of being a person and choosing what it is that you want to do with your life. Dignity of risk and the way it's written into the Act and into the standards is not an all or nothing phenomenon. And so decisions need to be made in the middle and they're shared decisions which requires far greater involvement. For boards, this is a different time. Beyond compliance, beyond looking at performance indicators to really challenging us about our roles and responsibilities in decision making for social issues. Dignity of risk is very much about the individual being able to control as much as possible their environment, their choices, their autonomy.